rapper Eve and Serena Williams, they are among a growing number of black women who have married white men. Some people call it swirling, and it made headlines recently <laughs> when a co-host on The Real said this. And this is why I'm so emotional about it, because so many of our sisters are so lonely, yeah. Yeah. and they don't want to admit it, and all they got to do is just take a chance. It's because we don't have the love that we yeah. need. It's because we don't have the love that we yeah. need. It's because we don't have the love that we yeah. need. person that you can turn to when you have a bad day. But black women especially have a unique set of challenges when it comes to meeting, dating, and marrying. So <laughs> why is it so hard out here for the sisters? Well, we're dealing with a couple of issues that other communities just aren't dealing with. Number one, because of the history in this country with racial disparities, economic disparities, we have a high incarceration rate of African American men. So studies have shown that the rate of black men in the age group of about 20 25 to 54 in comparison to black women is actually 83 to 100. So numbering them. We also know the statistics around black women getting higher um, education rates and things like that. So there are a lot of things that make it not an equal playing field. We also have the other side of that coin is like what was going on at home when you have dads who aren't there. So what happens? You have a lot of the super moms. It's hard to find a partner because there are real issues of a dis like disparities in numbers, who's eligible, who's ready. You're sad. You know, so her loneliness, her tears are definitely real and felt by a lot of women. Who's eligible, who's ready, you're sad. Who's eligible, who's ready, you're sad. There is no comparison. Like, there is nothing that you can tell me that anyone else can bring to the table that can compare to what black men provide. Mm. And it's just that safety that you feel not having to explain nuances, not having to explain why you may react to things a certain way, you just can be, and they get it, and they feel you, and it's that unspoken bond that you can't create with other races. Like, it's just not there, like. Well, I'm sure black men everywhere are applauding as you say that, <laughs> <laughs> but have you ever tried dating a white man? No. I haven't tried not, not even curious. to. I haven't even in the conversation, like I can feel my mind drifting away. Like I'm not engaged. I'm not feeling that, that bond, that connection, that there's just certain swag and flavor that black men just have that is just, there's no way to duplicate it. Mm. Well, you are feeling that connection because I know that for the last five years you've dated almost exclusively white men. Yeah, and that's not on purpose. It's just how it ended up happening. Nashville, which is a very white town. <laughs> and um, when I started online dating, the people who were matching with me were mostly white men. And I will say, to be you know honest, to give full disclosure, a lot of them were coming at me with some racist, fetish, fetishizing bullshit. Mm. And of course, I eliminated all of that. Um, I did not, you know, for the most part, entertain any of that. Um, a lot of them were coming at me with some kind of like, do you dominate? Can you dominate me kind of thing wow. in the bedroom? Maybe. Yeah, you know, they wanted... They wanted uh, me to like beat them up and and like oh step on them and shit like that. And then finally, I was like, okay, well, let me see. <laughs> you know, I was like, so you started beating them up a little bit. Yes. <laughs> yes. I was like, I, thank you. Yes, I okay. I let somebody be my sub, my submissive, the person that I like kept on his knees all the time and all the time, and I like that. To give full disclosure, a lot of them were coming at me with some racist, fetish, fetishizing bullshit. Mm. And, of course, I eliminated all of that. Um, I did not, you know, for the most part, entertain any of that. Mm. And, of course, I eliminated all of that. Um, I did not, you know, for the most part, entertain any of that. Like, beat them up and, and like, oh step on them and shit like that. <laughs> and then finally I was like, okay, well, let me see. <laughs> you know, I was like... So you started beating them up? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Yes, I, I let somebody be my sub, my submissive, the person that I like kept on his knees all the time and all the time and I like that.
want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Rucha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, honors to you, other brethren, you followers of the truth, even you few sisters, and shalom to the elect. I want to go across, I want to go in on this video um, that I ran across. Again, there's not much I can say. In this video, that's why I put as much as I could in the intro uh, about these Eves who are pretty much is complaining that there's not enough men or eligible men. We know what eligible mean. You know, some famous basketball player or athlete or a man that got some figures in his pocket that they can latch on to and eventually get a divorce and clean house. But anyway, that's another video. Uh, but... <laughs> These uh, women like The View and these other talk shows and all this stuff that's going on, they discuss women issues and women problems. And to me, what I see is they're creating a, they're creating themselves problems because there's really a problem for all of us. But we can see how Eve has just slid Jake on out of the way. You know, talking about the, the men are locked up and cost of racing rates. Uh, but they did have mothers raise them. You can't make the excuse that fathers ain't there because that's what they said. When you do have an obligation as a mother to be the best parent you can be to your child. But somehow, the men being locked up, <laughs> what is that? An excuse now to say, you know what? I'm going to go to this nationality. Sad Netta, you and the black conscious community have uplifted Eve on such a high level that you pretty much help destroy them with this kind of madness and this kind of behavior of lifting them up and uh, setting them on high and telling the men to treat these queens like god goddesses. You, Brother Polite, and all you weak, sick, black conscience freaks because that's what the hell you are, man. You talk all that trash, then you molest the children, right? Or you commit all kind of battery, you beat your wives, all kinds of things, you're drug using, drug dealing, all to uplift the women because you know that Eve likes this type of stuff, it gives her some form of power, but you're selling out the rest of the Jake to get the power for yourself. This is why y'all make out. This is why you and these other Israelite groups, this is why y'all get money and fund it. That's why, exactly why. Because you're uplifting Eve, but you're not telling Eve that they're actually going off. But you can go to other channels and you will never see a bunch of panels about why black men date white women. You'll see questions of why do black women feel so hurt when she see black men with white women. I don't understand this. I thought they were all happy. It would never be enough for Eve. And it's because of you jakes. You know, you simpleton jakes, man. Anyway, first of all, we teach it's not about the flesh anyway, but in the mindset of Eve, when she see uh, this behavior, she just thinks that's what it is. A lot I can't say in this video. St. John 6 and 63 is the spirit that quick enough the flesh profit of nothing. Right? So then you have a lot of Eves who raise these young men to be the kind of woman to be the kind of man that would do the things that they would want as a woman to be done. Like these Serenetta characters, man. And this is what you see. No leadership in the so-called black community. The black community is totally destroyed, man. Right? It was all vanity and fraud anyway. The brother polites, you know, the freakos. You know, the, the extortioners, the liars, the doctrines. It's all messed up, man. It's all vanity. It's all lies. And you you said Netta, you know, all those guys are set up. You know, this Eve there that's hitting this show, which I don't believe is an Eve, by the way. We can go into the boule. That's, you can study that on your own and see how they set up tears to set up. Things like this, again, it's a lot I can't say, to 
forward these kind of things that is happening because that is something that is set up by the way in case you don't know but us at Great Millstone we're spiritual so we don't care how many tears there is we're going to be able to look and say you're a tear or you're a Jake right that's just what it is we're going to be able to look and see that all right so just as men did you wrong and you know as, you, as a man you ain't supposed to you know a lot of Jakes they lay with these women they leave and make games out of it well guess what we all oppressed together you eaves are not exempt you've been doing that you know getting with men it wasn't like you wanted so you just dropped him and went somewhere else somebody got more money or looked better like we're the only ones she talk about that the uh the, the incarceration rate the black men are locked up so ain't no more men so go to white men this is what they're saying like <laughs> it ain't enough black men there's plenty black men but you know what i'll be telling brothers don't get you know bent out of shape about that stuff that is supposed to happen babylon is not going to be destroyed the lord's not going to destroy the right destroy a righteous place in fact that's good for them you know that's good for them man go where it is right let's go to um let's go to uh second chronicles 11 and 18 and Rohabom took him mahalath the daughter of jeremoth the son of david to wife right let me read that again. And Rohabom took him Mahalath, the daughter of Jeremoth, the son of David, to wife. And Abihail, the daughter of Eliab, the son of Jesse, which bare him children, Jeshuus, uh, Jeshu, or Heshush, and Shemaria, and Zethlam, Zaham. And after her took Makaah, the daughter of Absalom, which bear him Abijah and Ashea and Ziza and Shelemoth. And Rohabom loved Ma'akah, right, if I'm pronouncing it right, Salakia, the daughter of Absalom above all his wives and his concubines. And he took 18 wives, three score concubines, and begat 20 and 80 sons and three score daughters. Now we had a Christian say, it never worked. That's why the Lord made, you know, changed it, which the Lord never changed Malachi 3 and 6. Now, what don't work is when you marry unto other nations, right? We see this in the book of Judges, the book of Joshua. We see this throughout the Bible where we've, we married off, you know, the Israelites married off their sons and their daughters to other nations. And that wasn't supposed to happen. This is where you have the problem. And in this uh, place we live in there's never a shortage of men <laughs> you know what I'm saying there would literally have to be only a million left men uh, 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 a couple of hundred thousand men left to be have that kind of shortage but the society teaches when you're five years old you go to school they have the little girls sit in a circle at least I remember and they read them those little Cinderella stories and the great princes and they show them as being white men so we can see the mind effery that we see as uh, destroyed the people right Eve right you see it through the media everything you, you look at the president you look at all these and now they're showing Eve with these great politicians governors officials so you can see the mindset of Eve is gone. You got to let it go. So I, again, Sadnetta, where you at? Where you at? Jeremiah 4 and 30. And when thou art spoiled, what will thou do? And then, and another crazy thing, if I may add, is the fact that these people always complain about racism and it doesn't matter what color you are and it shouldn't you should love all so why are they making a big issue here if you loved everybody it was meant to be together why do you got to make these videos and these panels 
to tell people where to go if it's a natural thing. Though thou closest thyself with crimson, though thou deckest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rentest thy face with paintings, in vain shall they make thyself fair. Right? In vain shall they make thyself fair. Okay? So, in vanity, in vanity shall they make themselves fair. And this, this is like nothing new. Okay, um, it says here, thy lovers will despise thee and shall seek thy life. You know, meaning whoever they wit, all the way up to the top. Right? Babylon is going to turn on you eaves, man. Just give it time. You've been removed. And now you got to deal with the consequences. Because in your mind, you can't believe in this carnal state that this will eventually come to an end. You ought to know that anything that is not natural will not last. Will not last forever, man. Because it is not natural. For I have heard a voice as a woman in travail and anguish, as of her that bringeth forth a first child, right? The crying, the screaming. The voice of the daughter of Zion that bewaileth herself that spread of her hand saying, woe is me now for my soul weary because of murderers. And that's just not you Eve, your sons, you, you know, the men, the Israelites, but you Eve's, woe is me now. When, that, when they show you who they really are, it's going to, it's going to be something to see. And the Lord, by the Lord's will, I'll be around to see it. Right? I'll be around to see it. Anyway, again, video like this is kind of limited. So, I, you know, I'm not going to say much. But I just found it interesting that for whatever reason that these Eves are allowed to be on all these different panels and shows and talks to talk about their weariness and their problems. And then through their weakness, they become strong. And now they're building themselves up by lifting themselves high and through their sorrows and cries and trying to push us down, you know. But Isaiah 13 says, uh, what does it say? Isaiah 13, I think 9 or 11, it says, um, the, the most high will make man more precious than fine gold, right? So how is he going to do that? By bringing other men down and lifting Jake up, right? And the elect will be lifted up. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom.